Good evening, Philippines. It's actually a late Saturday evening now, and uh, this is uh, our latest weather analysis back from the uh, uh, special coverage of uh, Typhoon Jenny, which is already outside of the Philippine area responsibility. And this is uh, for today, late Saturday evening up to Monday, October 7 to 9, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Abutis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Cabarelli Sur. And uh, before we begin, uh, we would like to uh, let you know about this uh, Comunidad Climate Action Center. For more details, just visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, and click on the first banner that you'll see at our website. This will help LGUs and other companies to have their own climate action center. Aside from typhoons, you can also see local thunderstorms and all that are related with the weather and climate as we need this kind of tool in this time of climate change for us to be resilient enough to help our community. So don't forget to visit the, this uh, uh, banner, click it, and you'll be forwarded to a uh, Google form. And uh, once you submit it, uh, Iran Kabasa will contact you, or you can uh, vice versa contact him with the cell phone number 976 163 or email him at iron at that vassal at comunidad.co okay so that's the comunidad climate action center so let's begin now with our update here's the latest graph set that we created early this morning and uh coina which uh passed over the southern tip of taiwan last uh thursday is now uh, outside of the Philippine air responsibility and uh, it uh, began weakening but for the past 24 hours it again rapidly intensified from a category 1 back to category 3 but as we speak right now it's starting to weaken slowly and it's now packing sustained winds of just 175 uh, kph but still quite a strong uh, system moving very slowly at a pace of 2 to 4 kph in the general direction of Hainan Island in southern uh, China so within the next uh, uh, three days it will make landfall over this uh, island uh, of uh, southern China and uh, the southwesterly is uh, very weak right now affecting only the uh, western uh, uh, Philippine Sea and the South China Sea area. And here over the Pacific, we are monitoring two tropical systems. We have already the newly formed Tropical Depression 15W, which has been upgraded from 98 LPA-98W. And this uh, depression has been upgraded as we speak right now as a tropical storm and with international name Volaven, okay, and then we have another LPA here that we are going to watch. It's uh, convection is uh, pulsating right now. When we say uh, pulsating, the uh, convection is uh, on and off. It dissipates and it, it reappear, and right now it's reappearing again as it enters the Philippine air responsibility. So 987W is worth watching because it will dump heavy rainfall across Samar and Bicol provinces beginning late Tuesday or uh, Tuesday afternoon until the whole day of Wednesday. Now the question is if this LPA will reach tropical depression status, it's still at 50-50 chance as of this time as both of the computer models develops it over the West Philippine Sea. So this is worth watching. If it does do some rapid intensification, we might see a tropical depression crossing the Bicol region beginning late Tuesday through Wednesday. So don't forget to bring your umbrellas, your rain gear on Tuesday and Wednesday. We will be having a wet weather ahead and probably 50 millimeters of rainfall for the day. And uh, there's a possibility too, if we have a very strong thunderstorms, it could reach up to 100 millimeters. So we're going to observe this LPA 97W 
Uh, actually, for the past few days, we don't have any rainfall. Since the start of October, we only have 0.5 millimeters here in Naga City. So this is all, uh, will be, uh, be giving some relief of rainfall across the farmlands of Bicol region. This one, we don't have a problem because uh, most of the computer models tracks this system towards the Marianas, Guam and Saipan and it will record towards the sea southeast of Japan. So this is no problem, although it could become a very powerful system. Super Typhoon status is not out of the question since we are on the El Nino event. When we are on El Nino, we expect most tropical cyclone even uh, only a few of them form. We expect uh, most of them reaching a typhoon or super typhoon strength. So uh, we are going to keep an eye also on this system. But rest assured, as of this time, the Philippine Islands is safe from this uh, powerful system. And we are just uh, dealing with a weaker system, which is 97W as a low pressure system. So let's observe that in the coming uh, 48 to 72 hours. So here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. There you go, the eye of uh, the uh, midjet typhoon. Actually, it became midjet once it entered the West uh, Philippine Sea and uh, the South China Sea area. And it's now over the coastal waters of Hong Kong. Uh, the winds are only here near the eye. Here, they experiencing some south, uh, southeasterly to easterly winds and starting to uh, weaken. And uh, good weather across the Philippine Islands with some thunderstorms in some areas in the afternoon and evening. And here's the LPA that we are observing is somewhere here. And here's Tropical Storm Bolaven, which is expected to move in this direction. Okay. And this one is going to move here like that. So it's a question of if this LPA will reach tropical depression status. Okay, and uh, let's take a look now at the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. There you go. All quiet in most parts of Luzon. Uh, small thunderstorms is uh, currently occurring as of this hour. After uh, a wide array of thunderstorms over eastern Visayas, Cebu area, and we have uh, thunderstorms here over Davao area, so oxygen is starting to dissipate. And here is the LPA that we are observing, 97W, with its convection pulsating as of this time. The clouds or the rain bands are keep on pul pulsating, but there is uh, currently an increasing uh, rain bands right now. And if we move, we use Bolaven, very far from the Philippine Islands, so no problem. It won't enter par based on the latest track. Here's the track of Koino, and it slowed down uh, rapidly here, just to the south of Hong Kong, along the coastal waters, far away from the shoreline. And it's expected to move very slowly for the next 24 hours, and still to be south of Hong Kong until it's the demise over uh, Hainan or here along the uh, coastal areas of northern Vietnam okay so Pagasa is no longer giving uh, advisory since the Philippine Air responsibility is somewhere here okay so that's the power line like that so it uh, exit or it moved so it moved out of the Philippine Air responsibility uh, Tuesday, uh, Thursday afternoon. Now here's the uh, new Asian agency stocks on Volumen. So there's no problem. Here's the Philippine Air Responsibility again. Uh, for those of you who are asking if it will enter par. So since uh, the storm is moving towards the north for the next five days, it won't enter the Philippine Air Responsibility unless it will shift here. But so far, none, uh, no models are forecasting as of this time. Okay, so uh, the reason behind that is there, there's a uh, opening here or a very strong frontal system that will pull up the uh, storm towards the north. 
So here's the uh, global models, here's uh, Koino, and here's Bolaven. So the question now in the Philippine, of the Philippine Islands is that LPA-97W, which is just uh, a rain-bearing system. So here's the uh, European Ensemble. It shows here this will reach here a status of 950 to 970. That's a powerful uh, typhoon. Uh, probably it could also reach super typhoon status. While here, 97W is just... Uh, the maximum uh, potential is a tropical storm and uh, mostly it could be uh, an, uh, mostly it may be a tropical depression or a uh, low pressure system but the way i see it we see, but the but the way uh, we see it right now it's uh, probably an active lpa or even become it could become or even or it could become a tropical depression or a tropical storm, so we will set the bar high since the uh, sea surface temperature here might be uh, warmer or warm enough for the system to intensify. So we are going to observe this in the coming days. Uh, so this journey, so we don't care about this anymore since it's moving towards southern China. Here's the uh, wind forecast from the European model for the next three days so that's uh, for tomorrow afternoon there's uh, LPA 97W just north of Palau Monday it will start to move closer towards the coastal waters of Samar and Bicol area Tuesday afternoon it's now approaching the coastal waters of Samar or Eastern Samar in the evening of Tuesday it's moving towards the northern part of Samar across Masbate, Sosogon, or Albay area. And on Wednesday, it will be in the vicinity of the Masbate area. So expect rainfall beginning, beginning Tuesday until uh, Wednesday or Thursday across the Bicol region. Okay, so here's the large typhoon, which uh, is nothing uh, to worry about. Here's the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days. If you count today, uh, Saturday, Monday, uh, Sunday. I mean, if we can't, if we count beginning uh, Saturday, so it will be Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. The uh, 50 millimeter rainfall is just over the ocean. But if we speak on Wednesday, that's a different scenario. So this is the Tuesday. Here's the LPA, and then Tuesday evening, the rain will start to uh, be felt across Bicol. Eastern Visayas and uh, uh, Mimaropa and on Tuesday uh, still uh, there will be more rains as the LPA is now over Masbate okay so that's the uh, forecast from the European model and uh, once it exceeds to the west of Mindoro it could become a tropical depression or tropical storm but still a question mark as of this time if it will develop west or east of the Philippines it remains to be observed in the coming days okay further observations so there you go that's the latest for this uh, weekend of uh, saturday october 8th for this weekend of october 7 and 8 until monday for this weekend of october 7 and 8 and we will return on monday to give you the very latest on these tropical uh, systems including the uh, LPA that is uh, moving towards Bicol and Samar and also uh, tropical storm Volaven which is far away from uh, the landmass of the Philippines from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Padua saying uh, have a great weekend ahead uh, stay safe always be hashtag weather wiser typhoon wiser and thank you so much for watching our channel